Boom! What's good, y'all? <laughs> What's up, guys? I don't know how I usually do an intro. So, the Forgotten Beast. So, I got the, the sprockets. Where's the front one? I think the front one's on there. Um. Oh, it's on the table. So, I've got the front sprocket and the back sprocket. So, I was doing this with Isaac. Oh, we also... I honed out the cylinder. So, it's all nice now. It's all smooth. Uh, so, the back sprocket doesn't fit because the boys at the place so there's six on here and there's five on here so i'm like dialed okay so that one's not gonna work i got the wisco i got the wisco and i got a chain 420 link chain uh it's a nice color nice gray i didn't really care the color because it's a pit bike all right my guy has arrived. Now, the hub might be a different size. So I just I figured know. that out now, but we'll see. We've got... Like, yeah, it probably is, but we're going to try it just because. We got my guy. He's got all the sprockets hooking me up. No... Oh, no, it doesn't. He's got a bigger hub. It's just too big. Never mind. <laughs> Which is fine. I'll just go get the old one out of that tree all right we've made it to my anger getting away spot wait this was in the tree and i found it like did you throw it no. okay that's fine this is my throwing start this is homer by the way we got the brand new one out this one fits could we just turn it around and it would work fine we just reversed it how crazy how that worked could we just reverse the the shark We can just reverse the sharp and it's a brand new sprocket. There. Water bottle out the door. Oh, Seeing the torque you want on it. Spacers? Question mark? No, we don't need them. Let's hope the top end goes better. You might just have to put the old one back in. Dialed! No! It's so bad. Crazy grease. What's a green? Look around the shop, Isaac. You know how many kids make fun of me for riding a cow at school? It's not a bad bike. You got the nut? Yeah. Don't oil your chain. No, do oil your chain. No, it doesn't do anything. Probably need the front sprocket on there. <laughs> Just maybe. It's tension. Four fingers. No! <laughs> Wait, is that like a move in the chain to situation? Yeah, you gotta go all the way in. So you gotta loosen these all the way out. The old chain isn't looking so bad right now. I don't have my tripod today, guys, so I'm sorry if the angle is going to be bad. Yeah, we're going to throw it on the bike. Just saying. Let's just pause and look that I'm putting in the circlip without a rag covering the crank. Three seconds later. I just did the most rookie thing ever. So, putting the circlip in, dropped it into the bottom end. Don't do what I did. Let's see. Hello? Oh. Where is it, dude? It's so gone. Try not to move the crank. There it is. Is that it? No. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Okay. That's a piston chunk. So I'm just going to take the whole bottom end apart. All right. Back in the shop. Burning. Burning. -in -in. So got the KDX. Uh, it's looking dialed. Uh, no motor in it. And uh, stripped out shifter, which is epic. Um, yeah. 
I think this thing will run in like no time, dude. I've got the RM's crank. What it has is a gear right there, and that drives the drives the bike. Obviously, because the piston goes around, then it spins the crank, and the crank has to spin the clutch, which spins the transmission. So all this is gonna be attached to the clutch. So take these out. Isaac gave me or let me borrow this impact driver. So you hit it, turns it a little bit slowly breaks these loose and this motor is so bone stock look at the inside of it never been taken apart before so i can't wait to see what's in the clutch case all right mind my voice i have like wrecked vocal cords for right now so bear with me uh we got this bolt out which was pretty sick i'd use the electric gun all right so i got the gear off there is a key in there there's the key so remember, that goes with the gear. <coughs> Wish I had Isaac here with my camera, man, because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pull this. Yuck. This case does just slide right out. Okay, one-handed pull. Okay. It's looking good. See, I'm going to pull the crank out from there, from this side. Like so. Um, How am I going to do this? Be sure. I'm going to take this and push and I push and how am I going to do that? Take this. No. How am I going to do that? You just got to hit it with a little bit of mustard, you know? There it is. All right. Oh, man. But the crank is very heavy check this out so there is a lot of chunkos in there which is not good bearing still smooth as ever but see that that not supposed to be down there i'm not what am i gonna do i'm not gonna take this other side of the crank apart because um i won't be able to get it back in but I can easily say there's nothing down there that's going to obstruct. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to clean everything up and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, she's super clean now. Super clean. Nothing obstructing it. Cleaned all that out. Everything looks so good. This thing spins like a dream. So smooth. All the bearings are way too good. Like, way too good. There's nothing in the way. Nothing's in the way, so we're going to put it back together. Should be good. Woo! This man is going to go with my piston. All right, she's back. I've noticed a hair. So I bent the lock washer. Looks so dialed. It's not good. I don't deserve to have a motor this nice. Like, look at that. That's just way too nice. I don't deserve to be taking it apart and destroying it like I am. And I'll probably do the top end tomorrow because it's getting late. And uh, so, yeah, but everything else is good. All right. Oh, I got to move my mat. And now the case is on, engine case for my clutch. I got to put all the bolts on. All right. Boom, boom, boom. It's completely back together. Do a nice oily spin. Completely back together. Clutch works. Everything is so tuned in. I even got the sprocket on there. It is dialed. I got a mess of tools here that I'm going to clean up. It's a school night too. And it's like 1030. So I'm going to pack it up. And tomorrow we're going to do the top end. The moral of the story is put paper towel in your crank when you're doing a bottom end. Like, if you're doing a bottom end, for instance, let's say I'm about to do one, and you just go like this, and you just wrap some type of cloth and just wrap it around the the connecting rod, you'll be good. So, tomorrow we'll do the top end. See you guys then. <coughs> I got a cold. No, I'm just kidding. But I did actually kind of get a cold. But, uh, I, it's the next day. Got a new tool for the shop. This thing's gonna be so dope. Look, if I wanted to, I can just... Flick this socket on there. Thing's so mint. 
So excited. Let's take a good long look at it while it's clean. Won't be this clean again. So let's do this top end. I am getting excited. So I bet you a lot of people that are watching this channel uh, probably have done a top end before. So what you want to do is put a rag in there so you don't drop the circlip to the bottom end. Because this is hard to find. Things, oh, those things looking crusty. Nice. Perfect. Still looking mint. Let's throw it on there. All right. Grab the two cycle oil. I got the circlip in. The piston is on there. The piston is installed. There was a little scrape action going on. I will say there was a little scrape action. If it would focus. A little scrape action. But piston's on there nonetheless. Gonna oil this baby up. Make sure to put some two stroke oils on there. Because. Otherwise, you will not have a good day. You will turn into me. And I am not good at rebuilds. As you guys seen. Why am I a bike mechanic? I don't even know what I'm do talking about. There's little tabs for the rings to sit in. Uh, you do want to have that lined up so that your rings can close. Why was that the most annoying cylinder? that you could possibly have. Give it a little. All right. You can see the oil coming out there. Just kind of All right. Should seat the rings a little bit better. I'd say, uh, as long as it's not, there's no hard spots in it, like, yeah, we are, we're pretty dialed, are you gonna, are you gonna slip on there, huh buddy, there, uh, let's just make sure that that is the right side, yes sir, are we gonna test out the new drill? Test compression. Oh my goodness. Kid. Oh. All right, now that this motor has like amazing compression, we're going to throw it in the bike and then get the compression tester and test it because this thing might have more compression than my 125. All right, got all the motor mounts on. The whole brake assembly on that was a big ordeal. Foot peg. Uh, time to test the compression. I don't think we're going to do a, uh, a ride tonight. Because it's looking a little darky. I got this epic deluxe tester kit. Uh, it's so nice. Comes with all the bits and bobs that you need. Like, longer stuff. This is the short one. I don't know why I grabbed that one. Always take this whenever I go and look at a bike. Because you can read your compression through the little gauge that they have. And this just attaches so it's super nice and long. Perfect. Then I'm going to set the tester up somewhere so that you guys can see it. Let's check that. 140. 140 PSI, which is really good. I'll put the original spec of what the stock compression is. 140, see this? Bleed all that out. 140, that's a good, strong running compression. All right, look at that, boom, KDX is back. I didn't want to film much because it was like a long and boring process, but like, it's all dialed in now. No, I'm just kidding. I had to take the spark plug out. I was checking the spark, realized that I accidentally like bumped the spark plug with something and it like bent it in, so I have to get a new one. But uh, as far as my hands can tell, this bike just left Japan. As far as my hands can tell, this bike just left Japan. 
But yeah, dude, it's looking so dialed. I still have to get the new bars on it, but I did want to do a run, but I guess we're going to have to wait. Oh, my hat. Well, we'll do it the right way. We'll get the good spark plug, and then I'll check back with you guys when I get the spark plug. So I got it all back together. I put the new bars and stuff on it. I bomb started it and it went. It will, it's like it doesn't have enough spark. I don't know. Put in a clip of it running. That's the end of this video. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.